self-responsibility? Ew. It's just an expression of toxic masculinity. I'm sorry. I apologize for my privilege. Hard work? That sounds sexually violating. Women like having a man where they know he's physically incapable of protecting them. Makes them feel safer. The patriarchy wants you to think being a real man means you have strength, capability, and are a protector. False! That's toxic masculinity. And accordingly, that's why we advocate for socialism. So us menstruating men will have the government to take care of us. I'm sorry that I even have a bone structure. It makes me feel too masculine sometimes. Ick. No, I think we need more censorship. Cause without it, like, who's protecting you from thinking for yourself? I identify as a cisgendered male currently experiencing heterosexuality, pronouns he, him, scared. And for that, I apologize. It's not very diverse of me to not be different people at the same time that I'm being myself. But when men wanna have sex with me, I do it. I feel like it would be uninclusive to say no just based on the fact that they're a man. It's mean to set boundaries. One time in a club after a BLM rally, a person approached me and asked if I wanted to hook up. I said, no, I don't currently identify as experiencing homosexuality. Then that person got hurt and told me she's a woman and that just because she has a penis doesn't make her any less of a woman than other women. And she was right. My toxic masculinity hurt someone. And on that day, I said, no more. I always want to be a nice guy and do the right thing. And then apologized profusely to that nice woman and sucked her dick. I spend a lot of time on TikTok. Yeah, I don't always like to use my legs because walking is just a sign of privilege. And I don't like the sensation of effort. When I see men who are strong and confident, I just see rapists. Working? Having a job isn't my job. And besides, getting stimulus checks and unemployment is better at building character. Hard work is just rooted in privilege. People who have jobs are entitled. They think they deserve what they earn. <laughs> Wrong. I deserve some of what they earn too. Capitalism is so corrupt. Reward people based on how hard they work? <laughs> well, some people don't like working hard, so it's unfair. Communism looks like a beautiful way of life. I'm jealous of the Chinese. Cats are too masculine for me. Learning what it is to be a man from men just perpetuates a patriarchy. It's gross. I think it makes more sense to learn how to be a man from women. I do watch The View. I no longer talk to my father or grandfather. I'm trying to distance myself from the patriarchy. Cultural Marxism isn't real. It's just a far right extremist conspiracy theory. If you don't menstruate, you're completely infected with toxic masculinity. The nuclear family isn't that big of a deal. Being agreeable is what being a man is all about. Freedom is selfish. That's why I hate America. I was just reading the Communist Manifesto and there's some pretty good points in there. I wish this country was more like Venezuela. I think I'm gonna move to California. Oh, read about God? Can you say misinformation? I feel like I'm really good at creating safe spaces. Getting married, starting a family, and raising kids? No. Have you no idea what that would do to the planet? We're right in the middle of a climate crisis right now. That's why I've been trying to keep my testosterone levels low enough, so even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to get a woman pregnant. I've been trying to get pregnant though, but I'm having trouble. I don't know what's wrong with me. Question, I thought you said you didn't want to bring children in this world. No, I don't. I just want to get pregnant so I can have an abortion. I really want an abortion. Oh yeah, I let Hollywood influence me. One day I hope to find a woman that'll tell me what to do. That way I can do my best to please her, you know, so I can feel loved and valued. Yeah, masculinity and femininity, you need polarity in life, but if we could just get rid of masculinity, then we could all just be the good polarity. Thinking for yourself just leads to trouble. I, I can't think of anything more dangerous. The Constitution is just a handbook for dangerous extremism. I think it takes a lot of bravery to obey the authorities. Real men do as they're told. If I was a superhero, my superpower would be obedience. That's what a real man is. If we can keep everyone paying attention to the media, Hollywood, and social media, then I feel pretty optimistic that all the boys out there will be able to grow up and still be boys. A real man is tender, soft, and capable, and needs to be protected. That's how we need to raise the next generation. Uh -oh.